Today we heard about 1492, the secret skunk works lab from Amazon. What's this all about? Well, it seems as though Amazon are investing heavily into the future of healthcare through artificial intelligence and cloud data storage. So are they the first? No, they're certainly not. We've got Google, IBM and Microsoft, among other players, working in this space. They're trying to solve the big issues like cancer. So are we going to live forever? What is this technology going to do for us? Let's dive in. From Auckland, New Zealand, and in partnership with Gorilla Technology, your three minutes with host Paul Spain starts now. Business and technology commentator. Technology expert Paul Spain. So we know that Amazon have been developing all sorts of technology over the years. They're now a half trillion dollar business. Their founder, uh, Jeff Bezos, was today actually highlighted as briefly being the world's richest man. This is a company with a leader that is not fearful of trying new things, dominating new spaces. The healthcare areas were something like $3 trillion annually. So from their perspective, it's worth investing into. There have been lots of developments in this space though. Uh, Microsoft some months ago uh, talked publicly about their developments trying to solve cancer through accessing masses of patient records putting all this information together, trying to deliver results that can't be delivered by individual doctors. And that's one of the possibilities of this technology. Google have been working here through their acquisition of DeepMind. Uh, They've been working with one of the largest hospitals in the world in the UK, where they're analyzing data that's collected when they're testing people's eyes. Now, by utilizing artificial intelligence technology, uh, they expect to see a big reduction in the number of people that uh, are impacted with blindness through age-related macular degeneration. So artificial intelligence technology can really deliver some great stuff. In terms of us living forever, well, I'm not too sure about that one, but we certainly will see uh, continuous improvement going forward. Amazon are also uh, within their developments, it appears, looking at how to store uh, patient records and that information. Once that stuff is stored centrally, it makes it easier for you to get access to it when you're traveling, when you're in different locations. If you change who is your uh, primary doctor, Uh, then that should benefit you. Yes, there's some risks around security of information that we'll need to think about, cyber security, what will a big company like Amazon do with our data? Looking back a few years, we heard about Target in the US who looked at individual shopping habits and in one case was able to pick that a teenager was pregnant before she even knew about it based on the things she was buying. So data can do some incredible things uh, when the right sort of technology is applied. So I think we've got great things ahead in this space. Uh, A very, very interesting area to watch. My recommendations for you, uh, keep a track on what's happening. Encourage your healthcare professionals to be utilizing tech technology, maybe they can provide you your personal healthcare uh, records digitally, share those with you. Uh, There really are lots of possibilities. Try out things uh, like a health uh, tracker or fitness tracker. um, So you get used to collecting your own information, see how that can uh, encourage you to be healthier. Uh, For businesses that are in the healthcare space, whether doctors, medical specialists and so on, well, if you're in, in that area, you should be making sure you keep at the forefront of technology to deliver the best results for your patients and make sure you keep secure from that cyber security perspective. Hey, that's it for me this week. Um, Look, I can't give you an answer right now where the technology and artificial intelligence is going to help you live forever. But look, we're heading in the right track. You can get more from me with my updates at paulspain.com slash updates.